Hey guys, I'm here to do yet another reading. Listen, it's going to be pick a card reading. All right, this is going to be the last one that I do for the week. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I will try to get back on schedule on Sunday with our weekly card draw. All right, so get your intuition ready. And we've got pile one, pile two, and pile three. So pick your piles. And I'm going to start off with pile one. Ooh, okay, so right off the bat we have the King of Wands, let me turn this light on here. We have the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and our moon card is the rhythm of my breath directs the rhythm of my life. All right, so this with the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? This is bringing in your creative side, right? You guys are gonna feel more creative, more inspired, maybe more adventurous, wanting to go out and do things. This is the entrepreneur coming out in you for new uh, ideas to get inspired, to do new things. If you guys are doing YouTube, if you guys are writers, whatever you guys may be, this right here is saying that creativity is now coming into play for you guys, all right? for this all to start happening. All right, I, I love this draw. I love this draw. Look at this card right here. He's like, mm-hmm, look at me. Look at what I can create. I've got my wand here. I love it, I love it. So take control of your life right now, all right? Bring in that creativity and those ideas, okay? Group two, all right, we have, with focus and intention, I can shape energy into any direction. All right, so if you guys are being around negative energy, things like that, you guys can make that change, okay? You guys can always change the energy around you, how you react to things, um, you know, stuff like that, okay? You also have the Seven of Wands. Look at this, Seven of Wands. I love this, okay? With the Seven of Wands, this is you guys are like persevering, right? You guys are making shit happen. Then you have... The Ace of Wands coming into play. I mean, Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords coming into play, all right? With the Ace of Swords, this is victory. This is clarity. This is power. So what you guys are wanting to do, you're being blocked by negative energy or maybe negative people around you. You guys need to get rid of that energy so that way there you can bring in this victory for you guys. You can bring in what you want to have. If you want to feel good, if you want to change your life, whether that be on a diet or in a better mood, you know, this right here is telling you change your energy. You have, you have the power to do that. With focus and intention, I can shape energy in any direction, all right? So what you guys are wanting to come into play, what you guys are wanting to happen, you guys need to make the change to do that, all right, group two? Group three, when I let others shine, I shine too, all right? That's your moon card. You have the, the high priestess, all right, coming in. Okay, with the high priestess, listen, you guys can make the choices of what you want. You have a choice to make. You're very strong, okay? Look at the tiger next to her, all right? With the high priestess, you also have the ten of swords. Ooh, the ten of swords. This is defeat. This is loss. This is, you know, a crisis coming in. This is shit's happening. You guys are strong. You can get through this. When I let others shine, I shine too. Basically meaning just because you feel defeated doesn't mean that you have to act a certain way, right? If you're in a grumpy mood because let's say let's say somebody's doing better than you on YouTube or somebody's doing better than you in the in the work field, okay? W with whatever you're doing. If you guys sit there and you have those intentions set and you're like mad about it like, "Well, how come I can't be like that? How come I'm not getting praised? How come this? How come that?" Then that is that is making the way, that's basically saying that you're jealous, right? And so it's okay for other people to exceed or excel in things that maybe you're not because maybe you have a different path to be taking, all right? So with the Ten of Swords, I feel like this is more or less kind of like maybe jealousy coming in or somebody is jealous of you and maybe they are kind of making your life hell a little bit, right? But you guys have the choice to continue to be happy for others and just find your path on it, all right? I, I love this card. I just love this card. This to me is like power. What is she holding? It looks like she's holding a crystal ball, okay? So you guys can make your life be anything that you want it to, right? You can put your mind to it and make it happen, okay? So for group three, listen, it doesn't have to be chaos. It doesn't have to be, you know, bad things. You guys can change this on how you want it to be. All right, I feel like, you know, you're, you're much defeated, but I feel like it's more of a mind thing, 
okay? I feel like it's more of a mind thing with you guys. Um, yeah, so there was the card draws for you guys. I hope that they resonate with you. Let me know down below um, what you think if you want me to continue doing these. Of course, I miss each and every one of you, and I will see you guys probably on Sunday. The deck that I'm using, it is my new deck that came in. Um, I think this is called the Star Child deck. So, I'm pretty excited about it. Look at the chariot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, maybe I'll do kind of like an unboxing, and I'll go through these with you guys if you guys want to. If you want me to do an unboxing video of these cars, comment below and let me know. Also, here's my nails. I am ready to go to the NFL draft. Mm-hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Redskins all the way. All right. If you don't want to comment about the cards or the decks, then comment below and let me know what you think of my nails. Everybody loves nails, right? So I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to get as much video as I can while I'm at the NFL draft. Um, so if that's something, excuse me, if that's something that you guys want to see, um, let me know. And I'll, you know, work on creating a video for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, so let me know if you want me to do that. All right, so I will catch you guys hopefully on Sunday. Um, and if not, then I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.